I saw James Prochet realize today was cut down day. He was like, you know what? L let me show back up to practice. But anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. So the time is 5.02 p.m. Uh, the Ravens made their initial 53-man roster uh, official about an hour ago. And you know Ravens, like, when it comes to deadlines, Ravens like to push it not only to the deadline, but a little past the deadline. They did this last year before, and they probably did it the year before it too. But anyway, let's go over um, the, the roster cuts that the Ravens had to do because they had to cut and release, wave 25 people. And that's, that's a whole lot of moves, man. Um, and there were a few little shockers on there. There were some, a few little shockers on some people who the Ravens released and some, a few shockers on some people who they kept and how many of them they did keep. But we'll talk about that all in this video. Sit down, relax. We're probably going to be here for a little while. Anyway, let's get to the releases first. Well, the waves first. Wave release. Pretty much all the same thing. It just depends on how long you've been in the NFL for. If you've been in the NFL for less than four years, then you're waived. If you've been in the NFL for four years or more, then you're released. That's the only difference. But anyway, so the waived players. Tyler Beatty. Tyler Beatty. Um, that was a tiny bit of a surprise, but I'm sure he'll be back on a practice squad. Um, quarterback Anthony Brown. Practice squad as well. So no shocker there. Uh, nose tackle Isaiah Mack. Wasn't a shocker, but I know he did good in the preseason. But, again, it, it's the numbers. Uh, ben Mason. I was just talking to my guy JT a couple minutes ago. And he was talking about how um, he, probably, he said Harbaugh probably really wanted to do this. Because just to get back at Ben Mason for last year. Because they tried to do the same thing last year. But Ben Mason ended up going elsewhere to the Patriots for a little bit. But we'll see if he returns to Ravens practice squad this year. Or he gives them the old okie doke again. Um, they cut, uh, well, they waived Zacoby McCain, uh, McClain, excuse me, running back Nate McCrary, outside linebacker Jeremiah Moon, defensive tackle uh, Rashad Nichols, uh, tight end Tony Pauljohn, wide receiver Makai Polk. I was hoping he would get a shot, uh, but I know it, it, it was going to be real tough. But uh, defensive back David Vereen, wide receiver Benjamin Victor, defensive back Ardarius Washington, we've been talking about him a lot recently. Um, always thought that it was Geno Stone that was locked and Tony Jefferson and Ardarius Washington were a little iffy. And I always said Tony Jefferson would probably be over Ardarius Washington. Uh, I expect Tony Jefferson to be back. It'd be nice to get Ardarius back too, but I, I'm not really counting on Ravens to do that. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, wide receiver Riley Webb, who kept making big catch after big catch in the preseason, uh, and linebacker Chuck Wiley. So all the uh, guys that are under... Four years of experience in the NFL, they were all waived. So really, no, no real shocks there. Yeah, no, no, no real shocks there. Now, wave slash injured uh, with these three guys. Um, this is where I got my first like real surprise, uh, and then my first real disappointment as well. Um, because with these guys, with them being wave slash injured. That means that if nobody claims them, then they would revert back to Ravens roster, but they would be on injury reserve. So their season would be over unless the Ravens came to a settlement agreement with them. Um, that means they would be released. Ravens would pay them a lump sum of money, uh, but then they could sign elsewhere and they could play this year. So we'll see. But the three people who that happened to were uh, defensive tackle Aaron Crawford, who had looked good. Uh, but the injury, the timing of the injury is just really bad. Um, wide receiver Shamar Bridges. This was my disappointment right here. Because I was like, man, I was hyped for Shamar Bridges, especially after that first game. I said that he was a lock to make the roster. Um, but then in the second game, it got a little quiet. I know he had a little injury. He had, a, he had some sort of sting. I don't remember what it was. Um, but he didn't really get much action, like in the second or third game. Um, and then that was that. Uh, so that was unfortunate. And then right here was my first kind of surprise. Dalen Hayes. Dalen Hayes, and I know last year he missed the majority of last year with injury. This year, um, he I know he got injured in the, I think, the last game, but this year he has such a, a quiet camp. Um, but I figure, like, Dalen Hayes is going to make the roster. Ravens are super, super thin at outside linebacker, but now they're even thinner. They were like, oh, you know what? Nope. So they got to have something up their sleeve for that position, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so, again, wave injured guys, Shamar Bridges, Aaron Crawford, and Dalen Hayes. Now, released. These are the veterans. So, these guys have at least four years uh, of experience playing in the league. Uh, Tony Jefferson, who, who, that happened yesterday. Uh, Khalil McKenzie, I didn't realize he was in the NFL for that long. Steven Means, 
He'll probably be be back most likely on a practice squad. Kevon Seymour, um, he'll probably be back most likely on a practice squad. Or I wonder if they'll bring him back to the roster because they seem to really love Kevon Seymour. Um, I wonder if they'll bring him back to the roster and then put him on injured reserve. But at the same time, that really wouldn't make any sense. You could just sign him to the practice squad and just have him there. So I think that's what they'll do. Just just have him on a practice squad and be ready and available. David Sharp. I was like, oh, okay. Brent Urban, that could be another one of those handshake deals where they bring him back too. And cornerback Daryl Worley. I think he was just primarily here for injury purposes and just to make sure that their cornerbacks didn't get worn out. So those are all the guys that got released in order for the Ravens to get to 53. Um, but let's take a different look. Let's look at it from the opposite end of the spectrum for the, all the guys that actually made the roster for now because this is subject to change. Uh, quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson, Tyler Huntley, no shocker there. Running backs, J.K. Dobbins, Mike Davis. There was a little bit of talks about from some people, but again, I, I thought he looked fine. I, th I, th I thought he looked fine in the, in the preseason. But anyway, J.K. Dobbins, Mike Davis, Justice Hill. Look at him, check out my guy. And Pat Ricard. Now, um, J.K. Dobbins. I expect Tyler Beatty to go to practice squad, but J.K. Dobbins is seeming like he may be headed to injured reserve. Uh, so he would have to miss uh, the first three or four games if they put him on injured reserve. I think they change it to four. Uh, I, I forget. But he had to miss the first three or four games uh, if they put him on injured reserve. And that's what I expect to happen with him. Um, because, I don't know, you, you, you don't just bring in, uh, in a, it's not official yet, but you don't just bring in Ken Drake for nothing. You don't just bring him in. I mean, I, I love to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And that's the, the motto this offseason. But you don't just bring in a, a running back like that uh, for nothing. Um, so it's expected that J.K. Dobbins goes to IR, but we won't know till we know. Uh, wide receivers, Rashad Bateman, James Prochet, who just so happened to return to practice today. He's like, hey, I, I ain't trying to be on the wrong side of this list. Um, Devin DuVernay, Demarcus Robinson, Tylen Wallace, who there was a lot of question marks about him if he was going to make it or if he was going to get stashed, what was going to happen with him. But he made it. He made it. So good for him. Now, this is where it gets very tricky. The Ravens keep one, two, three, four, five tight ends. Now, we know Ravens love tight ends. But five tight, end, five tight ends? Now, I, um, I was just talking to some people earlier today. And I said that initially I expected them to keep four. But I actually, earlier today, I expect them to keep three. That being Mark Andrews, uh, Nick, Nick Boyle, and Isaiah Likely. And I expected Charlie Kolar to obviously make the initial roster, but then they put him on IR, which is still the expectation. But I didn't expect him to keep Josh Oliver. Now, I wonder. I don't know, man, because I, I don't see them rolling with four tight ends. They could, but I just don't see it. I don't see them rolling with four tight ends. Um, but from this list, if they roll with four, it would obviously be uh, Andrews, Boyle, Likely, and Oliver because Kolar is going to go on in reserve because he's not ready yet. But I don't know. I, I feel like with the roster numbers, with, especially with because it, it's so tight, I feel like they only keep three. So we'll see what happens with that. And then with the offensive linemen, they, they kept a lot of offensive linemen. A theme around this offseason has been build a wall around Lamar. Oh, well, yeah, they certainly doing it by keeping like 50 offensive linemen. So the offensive linemen that they kept, Ronnie Stanley, obviously. Uh, he still hasn't practiced yet. He got off the pup, but he still hasn't practiced yet. So, I don't know. Week one, uh, it ain't looking like it right now. I'm not counting on it for Ronnie Stanley right now. Week one, uh, yeah, um, probably not. We'll, we'll see, but. Don't rush him, but what's going on? But anyway, uh, so Ronnie Stanley, uh, Kevin Zeitler, Tyler Linderbaum, Morgan Moses, uh, Ben Powers. And I, I, I've been expecting him to get traded, but he's still there. So we'll see what happens. Juwan James, Daniel Filele, he's another candidate to possibly go on injury reserve. Um, and Ray, Ravens ain't going to keep all these offensive linemen. Uh, but anyway, uh, Pat McCary, obvious. Uh, Tristan Colon. Uh, that's another good one uh, because Pat McCarry, he'll be asked to do a lot of different things depending on injury, depending on health. Um, but to have somebody else who could play that center position, that's smart. Uh, ben Cleveland and Tyree Phillips. So a lot of linemen there. Uh, I do not expect them all to make the roster. 
Um, but we'll see. Got to wait it out and see. Uh, now on to the defensive side. Uh, <laughs> outside linebackers, Adafe away, Justin Houston, done. Well, David Ajabo, but he's going to go to injury reserve. Like, that's almost pretty much a guarantee that he'll go to injury reserve and then they'll bring him back whenever he's ready, if he's ready this season. Um, so, yeah, that, those are your two outside linebackers. Adafe away, Justin Houston, you're done. That's it. No mas, no mas. No more. That's no more in Spanish. But anyway, um, so we've been waiting on them to sign somebody, but now we just know that it's just a matter of time before they sign somebody. So clock is ticking there. Uh, inside linebackers, Patrick Queen, uh, Josh Bynes, Malik Harrison, Welch, and Ross. So both of them made it for now. Because that's, that's a little okay. Like, all right. Both Welch and Ross made it. So we'll see what happens with that. I think that could possibly change, though. But we we'll just wait it out. Uh, interior defensive lineman, Calais Campbell, uh, Michael Pierce, Matt Abike, uh, oh, Broderick Washington, uh, and Travis Jones. Oh, I wish he was healthy, man. Because I, I would just want to see Travis Jones week one come out there ready. Now, Matt Abike, man. Matt Abike has been very quiet this offseason. Very, very quiet. But hopefully he's one of those people that... Um, that's more like maybe not the uh, he don't like doing a little study study groups when it's time to prepare for a test. But when it's actually time to take the test, hopefully he'll pass it with flying colors. So we'll see what happens with him. Um, cornerbacks, the secondary. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, Kyle Fuller, Jalen Amore Davis. See, with him, I was wondering if he was going to end up um, going the stash route, if they were going to put him on injury reserve and in, in his season. Because he was missing some time from practice, but I think he returned to practice like yesterday. So he was like, "Look, man, I ain't nope, uh, 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 I ain't getting put, I ain't getting stashed this year. Oh no, I'm gonna make that team." So he's there, and then uh, Pepe, so Demarion Williams. Um, he today was roster cut down day, and today he returned to practice. Coincidence? I don't know, man. He was probably sweating a little bit. Like, man, I done made some plays for these Ravens, but I know sometimes if they need a spot and you sneeze the wrong way, injury reserve season's over. So he showed up. So shout out to him. Uh, and Brandon Stevens. Uh, the safeties that they kept, uh, Marcus Williams, obviously, Chuck Clark, obviously, Kyle Hamilton, and Geno Stone, obviously. Uh, and special teams, Justin Tucker, um, Jordan Stout, and Nick Moore. So, again, um, a few surprises, but at the same time, while there, while there are some surprises with how the Ravens roster is currently constructed, we know that that's not going to be the permanent construction for it. And they do have some moves that they will be making. So when those moves are made, you know, we will gladly let you know. We'll keep you updated as much as we can. Um, and if you don't see the video immediately, just know that it's, it's on the way eventually i appreciate y'all let me check one more thing before we uh get out of here let me see if it's official yet because i haven't checked since we talked about it earlier oh <laughs> man. <laughs> hey man appreciate y'all we, we we made it to fifty-seven thousand subscribers man right now we have fifty-seven thousand sixteen subscribers so i appreciate y'all a lot a whole lot a whole lot uh, I know it's, sometimes it can be a overload of videos. It, some, for some people, it's too much, and that's fine. Um, for some people, this is not their style of video, and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but for everybody support who supports, thank you. Thank you for supporting because um, support is something that you're not obligated to do. That's why support means so much in whatever you're supporting somebody with. Support is not something that's mandatory. It's not something that's a requirement for you to support somebody. But you do it out of the willingness of your heart, out of the willingness, with, with the willingness of your time, uh, your energy. Uh, you're willing to support somebody. That, that means a lot to them. Uh, and it should mean a lot to you and know that you mean a lot to them and y'all mean a lot to me. Uh, so I appreciate it, for real. Um, thank y'all. Thank y'all for making this so much fun. Um, thank y'all for just for, for rocking with us over the over the years, man, because it's been it's been a journey, man. It has been a, a, a journey and it's still a journey that continues to go. But it's been a journey, been a, a crazy journey um, from 
doing the the videos and i know we getting a little sidetracked now but still from doing the videos uh during our lunch breaks and our breaks when we were at work uh to ending up like doing this thing full time and i remember initially i was just talking to my guy uh antonio about this the other day uh just initially when we started out um doing it full time uh just me having a little bit of doubts um just being a little scared a little worried a little bit but just being like, all right, we just we gonna go for it. Um, having some people say, hey, you 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 need to get a real job. You should get a real job. And and I could understand where some of them were coming from, uh, because they were from a different era. And it's it's just if you tell somebody you're going from corporate America to to working doing YouTube full time, that can be like, what? what? Are you crazy? What? Do you really think that's gonna work? And that's worked. But it wouldn't work without support. So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.